Is it him? Oh no, it's him. He is not yet whole. I did not think him capable. He doesn't want to die, fool. <laughs> oh shit. Hey guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching parts 1 and 2 of the Binding Quills of Bomb Mine. If you haven't had a chance to catch them, I can go ahead and make sure we throw something up here on top for you guys to check out. Now, this last part is going to be a bit different than the last two parts in the sense that it's only going to be cutscenes that we're going to be catching here because I was unable to put together a group where we could do it synced with enough people. You know, people got stuff to do, people got real things to do in real life, which is fine. So this part is going to be purely... Cutscenes that you guys are going to find in the final part of the Binding Quills of Bottom Line. Hope you guys enjoy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Hi, Yuri on Jame. The triumphant hero doth return. Thine eyes speak of the dead task's completion. The second coil now lieth dormant. Yet I sense the tidings doth bearest are not altogether glad. Pray tell me, what ill hath cast the shadow which falleth now across thy brow? Well, Yuri Ange, there's a lots of things. When I was six years old, no, I'm just kidding. There's all kinds of things that happen, Yuri Ange, and I'm confused. An old foe and an old friend. So, twas but the ethereal shadow of Master Louis Soir that Lady Alice beheld, an unnatural conjuration enthralled to the Elder Primal. That the fiend should deign to choose him of all men, even in full knowledge of the shade's true nature. I would be hard-pressed to weather such a confrontation. Yet what agonies must the young mistress have endured? Such torment did she ne'er deserve. Mayhap twere better if the Lady Alice did absent herself from the future forays unto the coils. I've come too far to surrender to grief, Yuriange. Yeah, I don't speak about Alice like they're not here. My lady... I am resolved to defeat these fiends, and naught shall sway me from the path. Now let us peer more deeply into the well of our discoveries. As you wish, my lady. By your leave, I would speak first of the coil's late guardian, Nail von Darnis. Von Darnis was a legatus of the Garlean Empire who strove to bring about Eorzea's final destruction, only to fall even as the sixth sun did set. If thou hast heard tales of the White Raven, then it is he of whom they speak. I he, I say, for Nail was for a certainty no maid. The noble house of Van Darnes, as we discovered all too late, had long safeguarded the wisdom of ancient Alagon. Twas thus that the Legatus came to learn the true nature of Dalmund, and to seek the employ, and to seek to employ the Red Moon as a weapon against Eorzea. But the Crystal Tower and the mechanisms required to command the satellite yet lay hidden beneath the ground, compelling Nail to construct a far less subtle mechanism. In his first faltering attempts to communicate with Delamund, he did likely rouse the satellite's slumbering prisoner. Thenceforth did the White Raven's soul belong to Bahamut. He was fortunate indeed to acquire so powerful a thrall by chance. Tis little wonder he was so loath to part with him. Why let a simple thing like death deprave one of so useful a pawn? Though we may accuse him of bungling Van Darnus' resurrection, I dare say Bahamut was as content to have a handmaiden as a manservant. I only hope that the two thralls we encountered were the extent of his flock, yet I cannot help but dwell on Nail's words, those beloved children of whom he spoke. I assumed at first that he referred to the moon's beastly guardians, but should Bahamut have enslaved other, enslaved other mortals, we must needs remove this source of worship. Otherwise, our efforts to disable the coils shall be for naught. Forgive me mine indelicacy, my lady. Thou art wise indeed to speak of expunging the primal thralls. But canst thou truly pursue a course which would cost thee thine own grandsire? I mean, I feel like you have to at this point, right? My heart and mind are as one of this matter. Grandfather's salvation can be won, but by a single method. The, the destruction of Bahamut, and aught that might serve to sustain him. Poor Alice say it's going to break her heart to kill Bahamut and then kill Grandsire. Kills her. While Yuri and I endeavor to ascertain the existence of any future thralls, I suggest you grant yourself a moment's respite. Rest assured that I will contact you the moment I have need of your in inimitable talents. That we've achieved so much, I owe to you. I fear, however, that our trials have barely begun.
Though time had dulled the pain of thy passing, I find that I'm wounded afresh. What happened here, Yonjay? Master Louis Swa, what good shall come of this unending search for knowledge and truth? Long have I believed the pursuit of such treasures to be the duty of every true Charlayan. Yet, when each new revelation serveth only to heap further anguish upon those whom we would fain to protect, must we truly reach for more? Damn. Alfie, so you found your resolve, dear sister. Will you now find a use for the secret, for the key that only you and I hold? Alfie, what are you talking about? Given our familiar propensity prop for curiosity, you would do well to remember that keys may serve to seal doors as well as to unlock them. And Bahamut is the most unwelcome guest to whom the door should never have been opened. Yurianje would speak with you regarding your mission to prevent Bahamut's return. Man is wont to cast light wheresoever secrets lie hid in darkness, though that which he illumineth seldom bringeth him joy. So it is with such unhappy truth as Bahamut's immense shadow doth conceal. Yet ever onward forgeth Mistress Alice, undeterred by the burden of knowledge that weigheth heavy on her heart. Tis a perilous path she hath chosen, and a painful one. I prithee, Kilzor, remain by her side as her valiant blade, that she might see her quest to its conclusion. What the frick? <laughs> Kilzor, it is well that you are here. My lady, how might I serve you this day? I have met with some difficulty in my mission, Urianje, and I should be grateful for your counsel. As you know, Bahamut's physical form is regenerating beneath the Cardinal Flats, even as we speak. If we are to prevent his return, we must needs disable the two remaining intermittent hulks that sustain him. Every moment our mission is delayed, the realm is pushed closer to the brink of destruction. Alas, though, alas, though I have determined the location of the fragments of Dalamon leading to the hulks, I've been unable to find a way to enter them. Oh no. And gaining admittance is but the first step in your perilous undertaking. When last thou descended into Bahamut's subterranean fastness, thou didst discover, didst thou not, that the dread primal had bound the shade of Nail von Darnus unto his will. And though thou didst consign the fallen Legatus to blessed oblivion, thou mayest recall that the piteous wretch was not alone. Doubt not, but that Bahamut's other thralls shall seek to hinder thy passage? You can say his name, Yuriange. I have not forgotten that my grandfather is waiting for us. My lady, I would remind you, as I must offer by myself, that the man whom we both loved and revered is no more. What remaineth is but a shade which defileth his memory. The vile verbiage that spilleth from his lips must not be heeded, for it cometh not from your grandsire, but from Bahamut himself. You need not worry, Yuriange. Come what may, I will not stray from the course. I will not let Grandfather's sacrifice be in vain. Damn, Alice, chill. <sighs> but mere words will not take us whither we must go. As I said, I have been unable to find a way to enter the fragments of Dalamund. My lady, might I suggest that you visit the fragments again in Kilzor's company? Full oft, full oft hath the warrior of light set events in motion by virtue of his presence alone. It is possible that he may do so again. I, the while, shall search for the answers of mine own. By our efforts combined, full sure am I that the path shall be revealed to us ere long. Were anyone else, I should question the wisdom of such advice. Yet I cannot deny that what you say about Kilzor is true. Very well, I shall do as you suggest. Assuming you have no objections, of course. Good. Now, we seek entry to two fragments of Dalamund. One lies at the Burning Wall in Eastern Thanalan, and the other at the Singing Shards in Mordana. I left an assistant at each location with instructions to continue searching for a means of ingress. It is not impossible that they could since have found something useful to us. Let us begin by visiting my man at the Burning Wall. Dex, I think it was. Cool. Sweet. So we have the locations of the next and final bindings. Sick. Alright, Alice. Alice's assistant, we're here for the next binding coil. I say, are you not Master Ironhammer, my lady's most faithful companion? Sinus, sir, at your service, and may I say what an honor it is to meet you.
How close the survey? Dex? Wait. What? <clears throat> My lady. It shames me to say that I found no viable path to the fragment. He's so cool. Look at his glasses. Though it stands there before our very eyes, the way thither, the way hither, has thus far proven impassable. When the fragment fell and pierced the land, it caused a prodigious amount of aether to spew forth. Twas this that gave rise to the land's twisted light, which seems destined to thwart our efforts. Even were an opening to exist, I fear that we would struggle to reach it. We cannot give up. Keep trying. Yeah, we, I mean, we need a way in. So near and yet so far. Well, it avails us not to stand here and stare at the thing. Let us away to Mordana and try the other fragment. Perhaps Sinus may fare, may, perhaps Sinus has fared better. Didn't this person just say their name was Sinus? What? Uh, uh, upon that note, my lady, there's something I must tell you. I'm sorry to report that I lost contact with my brother just over a bell ago. Uh, as you know, the singing shards are home to many fell creatures, ogres among them. While I do not wish to cause you undue alarm, I fear something unspeakable may have happened to Dex. Wait, didn't didn't Alice just call him Dex? I'm so confused. What? What? Why didn't you give me strength? We must hurry to my assistant's aid. Well, you need to get their names right, Alice. <laughs> oh, here he is. I'm aiding him. Hold on. Thank you, adventurer. For a moment there, I feared that my bones were to be ground up and used to bake bread. I mean, they still can. That sounds like a good idea. I'm relieved to see that you're unharmed. I was, it was wrong of me to press such a dangerous task upon you. This is a pretty dangerous place for somebody just to like chill. But my lady, your worries are wasted on me. Twas nothing at all, I assure you. Are these her retainers? <clears throat> if it please you, I shall report my findings. As you can see, though the tip of the fragment is exposed, the rest is encased in rock and crystal, rendering it impossible to enter the structure. We might try excavating the area around the fragment, but that is like to take time, and there really is no telling how deep we may need to dig before we find a suitable point of ingress. As such, I'm forced to conclude that gaining entry to this fragment is unrealistic. Forgive me, my lady. So what are we supposed to do? Confound it, we're losing precious time. What are we to do now? Yeah, how are we supposed to get in? Tis I, your range. Glad tidings have I for thee and my lady. For a blessing, I way hast been found by which thou mayest enter the remaining fragments of Dalmond. Pray, escort Mistress Alice to the Cerulean Processing Plant in Northern Thailand. There, all shall be made clear. Thanks, Yurianger. We must go. Yurianger has found a way. He has. We must go at once to Northern Thailand, my friends. All right, Yurianger, I'm here. I'm ready. Tell me how we get into these things. My apologies for summoning you thus from afar, my lady, but tis here that your journey may finally begin. I did wonder. To my knowledge, there are no fragments in northern Thanalan. Nor are you mistaken, my lady, yet a pathway doth exist, one which you yourself have made use of in the past. At the conclusion of your several forays, into the binding coil, twas at the crystal formation which lieth to the north of this place that you did emerge, was it not? Yes, an ethereal stream bore us back to the surface. That much I had surmised. Are you suggesting that we can use it to return underground? And even if that were possible, would it not simply bear us back to those places which we've already explored? It need not, my lady. Pray allow me to explain. Upon the evidence of your experience, it seemeth plain that two intermittent hulks may share this self-same ethereal egress. From this, we did infer that others may be connected in that in likewise. Thus did we labor long to verify the existence of further tributaries to the self-same stream, in which task we were at length successful. T'was then but a matter of arriving at a solution to the problem of traveling to an unattained destination, that one might reach what we may call the headwater. We propose to employ a modified aetherite, which serveth to amplify such ripples as to originate from said source. By focusing one's essence upon these ripples, it should be possible to make the journey. Yet, be fairly warned, my lady, as with all untried modes of ethereal travel, this method entaileth considerable danger, 
Merely to attempt the voyage could cost you your life. Holy shit. That is a risk I'm willing to take. You're brilliant, Yuriange. It's true. Yuriange is pretty smart. But I'm curious, did you have assistance in forming this plan? I could not help noticing your repeated use of the word we, unless you have taken to using the majestic plural in our absence? Uh, um, nay, my lady, as you have correctly surmised, I was not alone in this endeavor. Meaning there are others who are aware of our mission? Who is it? I hear something happening. Who is it, Yuriange? Well, it cannot be helped now. Preventing Bahamut's return is what matters. If some secrecy must be sacrificed to achieve our goal, then so be it. Alright, I'll say, what's going on here? Tell me. Fill me in on the intricacies of this plan, please. <clears throat> so that must be the modified Aetherite, but what are the Immortal Flames doing here? Those men may be sworn flames of Ulda, but they are first and foremost faithful retainers of House Levelaire. Oh, Alfie. You little shit. Alphino, so it was you who was helping Yuriange. Who else could it have been, dear sister? Lest you worry, I have no intention of making the details of your venture public. Like you, I would prefer to avoid causing a panic. But given that which is at stake, namely the survival of the realm, one must be willing to accept help when it is offered. Would you not agree? At the very least, do not be cross with your Angers. It was at my behest that he kept silent. Hmm. <clears throat> we will speak later. Ali, chill out. Pray forgive me, my lady, but knowing full well your intent, I judged it meet that Master Alphano be informed. Though your grandsire hath become Bahamut's thrall, his noble blood courseth yet through both your veins, and if he must needs be struck down... Do you hear that, Alphano? I mean to strike down Grandfather, and when I have done so, I shall banish Bahamut to the Aether. Nothing you say will sway me from my course. I will protect Yorzia, and I will uphold Grandfather's legacy. Grandfather's legacy, so you still do not know what you yourself desire. Your actions are still driven by borrowed resolve. Borrowed resolve? What does that have to do with anything? She's really angry. Holy shit. Protecting Orzia was grandfather's goal, and we made it ours. Both of us. That is why we came here, unless we have forgotten. God forbid I should ever forget, Alice, but you misunderstand. I do not question your resolve only whence it came. If it were your own, you would be able to tell me precisely why you desire so fervently to protect Yorzia. Yet you cannot, for it is not your resolve, but grandfather's. You may struggle to see the difference, but borrowed resolve shall never be as strong as that which springs from within. But let us speak of this another time. For now, preventing Bahamut's return is all that matters. To be plain, I have no objection to striking down whatever is left of grandfather. Know, however, that I will be accompanying you this time. As a son of House Levelier, I will be present for his final moments. Very well. You may join us on one condition. I make the decisions. If it please, milady, the name's Erkenrad. What the frick? Our preparations are just about complete. When you're ready to embark on your mission, just give me the word. I'll be waiting for you at the Cerulean Processing Plant. Pay no heed to my brother. You can rely on me. We've come far together, you and I, and together we shall see our journey to its end. Alright, Urk and Rad. I've been waiting for you, Master Iron Hammer. I'm pleased to say that the Aetherite's primed and ready. As you know, the remaining intermittent hulks are connected to the fragments in Eastern Thanalan and Mordana. It's to the former that we'll be sending you first. Now, you'll be starting inside the hulk, meaning you won't have to cover so much ground. The drawback being that you'll be fighting for your life from the moment you get there. Best be prepared for anything, for a lady's sake, if not your own. And that's about all I can tell you. When your preparations are in order, just give me the word and I'll send you anyway. I may even throw in a prayer for your speedy return, just to be on the safe side. <laughs> okay, sick. Uh, what is this? Oh. Oh, th there we go. That's, we just did it. We just unlocked it. Sick. The final coil of Bahamut. Dun dun dun. Here we go, noobs. So this is how it looks on the inside. 
Yes, Alfie, welcome to the inside of the coils. This intermittent hulk still functions. The teleportation was a success. We are come to the right place. There's no telling how much further Bahamut has regenerated since we last beheld him. Let us make haste to the main bridge and deactivate the coil. Okay. I'm ready. Let's do this. There were receptacles similar to these in the previous Hulk. There were? What are they? Those held chimerical beasts, but only the Allegans know what other abominations may be sleeping within. You see the music? They may, they may well be part of Dalaman's internal defenses. We must stay on our guard at all times. All right, Allie. I mean, we got the twins here. What, what could possibly go wrong? By the 12 dragons and so many yeah, there's a lot of things in jars in here it's crazy a lot of water we were aware that the elegans possessed the means to control the creatures but not to imprison them thus is barbaric i would not wish such a fate upon my worst enemy true actually it's plain that no love was lost between the elegans and the dragons but was it truly necessary to keep so great a number here there's a lot of shit going on in here. Holy crap. Delman did not want for defenses. This we have experienced firsthand. Such guardians as the Allegans created, both living and unliving, were surely no less capable of repelling intruders than these poor creatures. Tell me something, Alice. Have you not managed to determine by whose will Bahama exists? Is it hers? No, I have not. At first, I assumed that Bahamut had no people of his own, that the Allegans had perhaps discovered a way to stimulate prayer itself. However, Nail's words gave me cause to reconsider, specifically the Shade's mention of Bahamut's beloved children. Shit. From that, I infer that the primal is given form by the will of worshippers, whom we have yet to... <gasps> what? Oh. What? God strike me down for a blind fool. I I can't I haven't put I can't put it together. Bahamut's beloved children right there before my very eyes. How could I be so stupid? I'm stupid. Tell me, like spell it out for me. Who else but the dragons of Eld would summon Bahamut? Who else but they could sustain him? And to think I wondered why the Allegans kept them imprisoned here. <gasps> Is that why the dragons are back? Is that why we see the dragons at the end of ARR right now? Or is, that, or is that a completely different group of dragons? Even should the flame of Bahamut's life go out, his faithful children would summon him back. For this reason, the Allegan Empire kept an army of dragons here in a perpetual state of duress that they might sustain the primal's existence. Oh. Truly, the Allegans' ingenuity knew no bounds, and neither did their cruelty. Small wonder that Bahamut was so enraged, let no one deny that it was man who sowed the seeds of the calamity. So these jars, they've literally imprisoned like a flock of dragons in duress to fuel the elder primal Bahamut and keep him alive. That is fucked up. Will you now turn your hatred towards our kind, dear sister? Do not patronize me. Do not patronize me, Alphanod. I merely acknowledge our guilt. Lest you be in any doubt, I have no intention of allowing Bahamut to lay the world to waste, regardless of the atrocities the Allegans committed against his kind. We have no choice but to eliminate all who worship him, be they his children or his thralls. It seems reasonable to assume that the system responsible for the primal's regeneration is also responsible for sustaining the captive dragons. If we disable it, all should perish. Perish. Let us press on. Damn. So this whole vessel is just like a means for him to sustain himself, be created, and then just continually return. That's crazy! 
Was it? Okay. The regeneration grid? What is this? It's like a world. Whoa. What are we looking at here, you guys? Why? This looks like... The model of Dalamund. Yes. Does it? Oh, it does. True. For millennia, Bahamut must have gazed at this unchanging view. Trapped inside a prison that was scarcely large enough to contain him. Unable to move. Denied the release of death. How his hatred for man must have burned. And then Hatred found an ideal vessel in Nail von Darnis. In many ways, Bahama is to be pitied, not loathed. But knowing the true extent of his fury, I'm more convinced than ever of the necessity of our endeavor. I mean, if he's regenerating, and he's kind of grumpy, then yeah, we should get in there. Besides, his is not the only soul that cries out for vengeance. <laughs> yeah, Louis Swa is in here somewhere. Ooh, look at these little computer systems. Gods, he is almost whole again. Oh, can we see him? Oh my god. Not almost whole, there's still this whole bottom half. can scarce imagine how grandfather stood against such a monstrosity and like almost all of his wings he's not almost back come on this cannot be allowed to proceed any further let us disable the coil and move on yeah do it hit the button alt f4 oh louis swa is upset grandfather no that man is dead I will not dishonor my beloved grandsire's memory by calling you such. You are but his twisted shape, the thrall of a mad primer. You were foolish to disregard my warning, child. Are you so convinced of your own righteousness? Who is this guy? Tis the rightness of our path that led us to return. Eorzea will never be safe whilst Bahamut remains to threaten all we hold dear. What of the hero who gave his life in defense of the realm? Do you truly dispute the justice of our cause? My poor, ignorant grandchildren. Your world is shaped by naught but recent conflict. Listen, and I will speak to you of justice no is he gonna drop some knowledge Twas in the twilight of the third astral era the southern land of mericidia suffered invasion at the hands of the alagon empire with no atrocity too depraved for their purpose the forces of alec were unstoppable in their advance okay desperate for salvation the dragons prayed to one of their first brood, to their ancestor Bahamut. Which is here. Infused by the power of their fervent supplications, Bahamut arose from the abyss of death and took wing as the Mericidian's newborn god. Yet this great miracle would only serve to further the maniacal designs of the dragon's imperial conqueror. The cruel fetters which bind my lord stand testament to the Alagon's boundless greed and hubris. I once summoned the Twelve in an attempt to forestall the advent of the Seventh Umbral Era. What then did the dragons of Mericidia do that I did not? Wherefore are they accursed and I exalted? Tis man's overweening belief in his own primacy that blinds him to the 
commonness of his condition and the truth of his own tyranny. As long as man is suffered to remain, the dragons shall never be at peace. Only when the plague of people has been expunged shall the children of Lord Bahamut be free. Then shall the world know true justice. Stop it! Grandfather would never say such things! His belief that evil were worth saving never faltered. He had faith in their strength, that they could stand together and push back against the darkness seeking to shape them. This isn't your grandfather. It is folly to place one's faith in so flawed a race. Stand together? Huh. They would first need to agree on which direction to face. If history teaches us anything, it is that man cannot find common ground between his own two feet. Even you, twins whose veins run with the same blood, struggle to fathom each other's reasoning. You hide your differing agendas behind the convenient banner of Eorzea's salvation. Given your obvious self-interest, can you truly claim no kinship with the oligarch? They're, they're young, right? They're both 16 or something? Or 15? And though I hope they might bring me <clears throat> closer, it would seem that the twin grimoires I bestowed upon you were a wasted gesture. There may well be truth in your judgment of Alize and me, but such a one-sided tirade, bemoaning the evils of man, bemoaning. Is false, coming from the lips of Archon Louiswa. Tell me, do you champion the cause of dragons because Bahamut compels you as his thrall? Or is it because you yourself have transcended the limits of man's existence? What? Ah, so the possibility did not escape your notice. What? What I prayed for, and what I have become. These are the keys that unlock the truth behind Eorzea's rebirth. What? If you would have them, then you must needs take them by force. Come. Rend this divine form asunder and claim your answers. What? What the fuck is that? It's not Grandpa anymore, he's a bird. What's up, Birdmans? Wait, Baha wait, 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 wait. Grandpa's a primal? Is that what we're getting at here? It is difficult, I know, but you must accept it. That entity is no phantom or imposter. It is our beloved grandsire. What? He became a primal? Holy shit. That's what he meant by transcended humanity. Please, for his sake and for ours, you must defeat our grandfather. Okay. Oh, so many primals in this one. All three of us. We got it. I guess him being a phoenix is fitting because he died as Louis Swall came back as the primal Louis Swall. So it was like rebirthed as a phoenix, which is basically what happened. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Grandfather is truly gone this time. But better it end this way than the alternative. What's the alternative? Oh no, there he is. I am yet here, Alice, my dear, sweet granddaughter. 
Aww. Don't make this sad. Thank you, warrior of light. Without your valor, I might never have broken free of Bahamut's control. Not my grandfather, their grandfather. <laughs> These last few moments are mine to live as the man I once was. This is all that I wanted. Yet. Now that it is happening, I find myself struggling to believe it. Is it really you? I would struggle too, yeah. Aww. Alfie, don't fuck it up. Grandfather, pray forgive me my insolence. It was not my intent to demean you. Forgive you? <laughs> I am proud of you, Aww. John. You were wise enough to deduce the manner of creature I had become. Alfino, Alize, if any here should beg forgiveness, it is I. Grandfather, I must ask. Will you not tell us what befell during the Calamity? Yes. Yes, of course. You have come far to hear the truth. Yeah, tell us what happened. Let us then begin the tale. At the Battle of Cartano, where clashed the forces of the Garlean Empire and the Eorzean Alliance. Do we, do we get the answers now? Is it time? It was there in the sky above the surging armies that the elder primal Bahamut broke free of the Red Moon Dalamut. Uh -huh. In an effort to contain this avatar of destruction, I called upon the Twelve to aid me in the creation of a prison of ether. Okay, yep. But Bahamut would not be caged by such feeble bars. Too vast was his might, too fierce his rage. Little choice remained to me. I used the last of my strength to entrust our hope unto the future and prepared to meet my end. Why is it when he said little choice, the camera panned over to me? Because I'm little? Rude. <gasps> Do we get a cutscene? Oh, baby, yes. Whoa. Holy shit. Wait, hold on. Is this Dragon Ball Z all of a sudden? What's going on? Holy sh shit. Oh my god, Bahamut's so big. <laughs> he did turn into Goku, yeah. Oh, he's like, he's literally like breaking. Holy shit. God damn. So Dalamund is broken. Bahamut went through Dalamund. Damn. 
which is how they ended up in the same place together, I assume? Oh! As you have no doubt surmised, I did not perish. When the cage built from the essences of the Twelve was destroyed, the sky was filled with a colossal cloud of ether. This drifting energy responded to the prayers of those fighting below and to my own desperate wish that the dying realm be saved by oh. infusing me with the power of a primal. I became the immortal phoenix, ancient symbol of rebirth. Nice. Okay. Rising into the sky, I struck Bahamut with all my newfound strength. The blow shattered his earthly form, and a shower of ether rained down upon the land. Thus began the rejuvenation of Eorzea. Believing the deed done, I relinquished my hold on that staggering energy, desirous that it should be returned to the realm without delay. But I had not reckoned on Bahamut's tenacious will. Even as he teetered upon the cusp of oblivion, the dragon reached out to claim me. Alas, within my fast fading form, Enough remained of the Phoenix's energy to offer Bahamut a hold, and he dragged me along in his way. Okay, that's how he ended up here then. Okay, so because he dragged him. Your existence as the Elder Primal yep. yep, yep, yep. I cannot help but wonder at his will to survive. Though he was all but obliterated, Bahamut found a way to seize the power you surrendered. That would explain why part of his physical form survived to be entombed underground would also explain why Eorzea was so terribly warped. Even as the land sought to restore itself, the returning flow of ether was cut off. Ah, very good. When his grip on existence was once again secured, Bahamut did not cease his feast until he had consumed every last mote of ether that yet floated in the air. And still he was not fully restored. You must remember that by this time, much of the freed ether had already returned to the land. That which remained was not sufficient to reconstruct so massive a form in its entirety. So he's just, has he just been leeching the aether off the ground this whole time then? But there did not need to be. Not for a being sustained by the marvels of Alagon technology. As long as some piece of Bahamut persists, the coils will seek it out and continue their regenerative task. Really? So the coils, no matter what, the coils will seek out a piece of Bahamut, no matter what, and attempt to rejuvenate him. That's crazy. The fragments of Dalamut appear motionless from the surface, but deep beneath the ground they had been searching tunneling through rock and soil towards their escaped prisoner. And, as you have observed for yourselves, they found his heart. Warrior of Light, heed me. You must put a stop to Bahamut's regeneration. Just me? By myself? Whether it be for man or for dragonkind, the question of justice is irrelevant. The Elder Primal will leave naught but a smoldering wasteland for both his children and ours. I beg you to defend Eorzea and guide its people 
to the future they yet struggle to find. Hi, right, Grandpa. It's time to go. Ooh, okay. We have to turn the other one off. This portal will take you to the final internment hook. Tis time for the tale of Bahamut. And his part in the calamity to come to an end. <gasps> it looks like you're leaving too. It's time to go. Okay. Alize, pray, come closer. Your hopes and dreams must no longer be an extension of mine. Oh, he's like letting them free, basically. Your own reason to fight for this realm, your own meaning in this sea of chaos. Will you do that for me? Of course, grandfather. I have already made it my mission to see this newborn Eorzea survive and flourish. Allie, though, she's been searching for you this whole time. <laughs> While I was yet enthralled to Bahamut, you spoke of my faith in man's strength. Know that your words reached me, imprisoned though my soul still was. So forceful was your conviction. I wonder if that belief has not become your own. Perhaps. After all your anger and sorrow was spent, you found something greater within you. Hey. See this fight to its culmination. Tis also your strength in which I have faith. Everybody's got faith in my strength because I got plenty of it. Oh, don't cry, Allie. Thank you. For everything. Pray, take your rest, Grandfather. You deserve it. Hi, Louisa. There are records of an art that allowed one to summon the power of a primal from the essence of its demise. And though I am no true primal, all that I have left. I give to you. Alvino. Alize. My darling grandchildren. May Light's blessings ever keep and protect you. Oh, bye, Luisa. Arkin, look sad. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Come, warrior of light. Our task remains undone. All right, Bahamut, stop regenerating, fool. How come we can't hear him? Like, if he's like, was he starting to come back to life? God, look at that wingspan. The dude's huge. you back to the ether okay so what's gonna attack us now because i feel like there's got to be something here oh is it him 
Oh no, it's him. He is not yet whole. I did not think him capable. He doesn't want to die, fool. <laughs> oh shit. Explosions. No, she's not dead. Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. I had thought it finally over. Not yet. Stop it, fool. Damn. Not survive another blast. I got you, don't worry. No. Is this how I honor my promise to grandfather? You must needs find your own reason to fight for this realm. Your own meaning in this sea of chaos. Will you do that for me? Do it for him, Ellie. I will, Grandfather. In fact, I believe I already have. What have you done? That Just push the buttons. With me all along, guiding me. Eorzea's blade of light, shearing through endless shrouds of darkness. I have been shown the miraculous feats of which we are all capable. Of which I am capable. Yeah. Tell him. Hamlet, you have wreaked enough havoc. I will not let your wrathful fires consume all that we know and love. But how am I going to actually speak to us? The book. Yeah. Read him a verse. Spit some fire. Nice. How long I have waited to hear you say that. You have found your resolve at last. Obviously, like I've just been waiting for you to turn to, be to become a badass this whole time. Let me join my strength to yours. Yeah, get your book out, fool. In this place. In this moment, our purpose has become one. Read at it harder. <laughs> Spit those verses, y'all. Oh wow, their books are becoming one book. Damn. For the future of Eorzea. What the f <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, that was kind of cheesy. <laughs> okay, I can do it. That was that was kind of cheesy, you guys. <laughs> oh, I can fly? Woo! Oh, they're using me as a bullet? Oh my gosh! Oh, did they send me? Did they send me into the heart? So now we're inside Bahamut's heart. Nice, GGs. Now we fight Bahamut in here, huh? We multiplied. Sure did. There's sure quite a lot of us that don't exist. They're now in here. <laughs> oh, so we do fight him in here. Look at him. Oh my god. So. We do fight Bahamut. Oh my gosh. You rolled. We did it. I killed him. You did it. I did what your grandfather could not. Ha! Kind of rude, actually. I shouldn't say that.
Does he die now? Now turn the freaking coil off. Yeah, turn the coil off so they stop looking for him so he can just be dead. This last coil disabled, there shall be naught left to bind Bahamut to this world. His beloved children will finally know peace. Do it. I thought there was going to be like some sort of fight or something that was going to happen and I was not for it. Kind of scared. <laughs> oh wow! And so it's just his heart there now. We should like bring that with us and safe keep it somewhere, like for sure. Oh, but it's also breaking. Somebody get a piece of it. <laughs> I want to. I want a piece of it. And make it into like a necklace and wear it. Oh, it's just Aether. There's a lot of Aether. It's rain and Aether. Tis done. He is truly gone. Damn. Crazy. You knew, didn't you? You knew what Grandfather had become. How was he supposed to know? Don't say you knew. They don't freaking lie. I was not certain, but from all I had gleaned, it seemed a distinct possibility. The scene people describe of the Battle of Cartano was one of unimaginable devastation, and tis through the combined prayers of the desperate and an abundant source of ether that primals are born. I merely put two and two together. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> And you consider that a sufficient explanation? Yeah, tell him. Well, however you stumbled across your theory, twas this revelation that made you wary of my attachment to Grandfather. You feared that in my obsession, I would fall under his primal sway. Is that why you decided uh, to try become tempered. Me back should I show signs of wavering? Ah, smart. Pray forgive me, sister. I wished only to protect you. Yet I see now that I needn't have doubted the strength of your conviction. May I ask you a question? What do you now intend to do with the truth you have uncovered? They only need to get their clothes cleaned. Which particular truth was that, brother? The fact that desperate prayer gave rise to the primal phoenix? That this new god was responsible for setting Eorzea on the path to rebirth? Should such a tale become common knowledge, people would soon offer up their prayers in earnest. They would beseech Phoenix to complete the healing that was begun. Yet as you and I know all too well, the very act of calling forth this savior would do more harm to the land than good. We cannot encourage such worship for this very reason. Were Grandfather forced to return as an ether-draining primal, would undo all that he had worked to protect. True. Your abiding love for him was the key that unlocked the truth of the calamity. But keys may also serve to seal doors that were best left unopened. Hopefully, he stays in slumber forever. Actions and lock away deep inside the fate of both grandfather and Bahamut. Fear not, Alfino. I understand what must be done. What must be done? I'll say, look at her long fingers. You need not know the truth for it to be saved. That the Elder Primal is banished, 
To return no more. That is enough. Agree. <laughs> Me. Hey. Let us make I'm here too. Back to the surface. Poor Oriange must be beside himself with worry. Poor Oriange. Guys, we did it. Bahama is dead. I am the best. And here we are again. After that descent into darkness, the desolation of northern Thanaland seems paradisal. As promised, I shan't reveal the truth of the calamity to a single soul. I'm going to make a video about it and publish it on YouTube so everybody will know it's fine. However, the nations of Eorzea will require certain assurances that the threat of a new primal is gone. Kept in the dark over long, it is only a matter of time before they seek answers of their own accord. Let us recommend that the fragments of Dalamund are sealed off, that the truth may rest undisturbed. But first, we must go and report to Yurianger. I, or it, would not do to keep him in suspense. I dare say we shall find him pacing up and down at the Cerulean Processing Plant. Hey, buddy. Ah, the warrior of light returneth undimmed from the depths of darkness. By thy triumphant by thy triumphant bearing, I take it thou hast succeeded in thy mission, and yet thou art alone. Mistake me not, dear friend. Full glad am I of thy safe return, but where, pray, are Master Alphano and Mistress Alice? God, their clothes, man, are destroyed. Here, my friend, forgive us our lateness. We took the scenic route. Bahamut is no more. The realm is safe. Thank goodness. <gasps> By the heavens, look at you! Yeah, they're dirty. What horrors your young eyes must have seen. What suffering your young bodies must have borne. Pray tell me, where are you hurt? Your wounds must needs be cleansed and dressed at once. I shall make for you a poultice, which, with, which draweth out. Just, just chill. Just chill. Just chill. Be at ease, my friend. We are hale and whole, I assure you. Ah, His concern is nice. We took a few tumbles, but the worst of our hurts are healed. I believe we have Grandfather to thank for that. Master Louisois? Then you met him once more? But wherefore should Bahamut's thrall seek to ease your suffering? I promise to reveal all to you in due course, dear friend. But first, there is a matter which requires our immediate attention. Now that Bahamut is defeated, we deem it best to bar entry to all of the fragments of Dalamund. To this end, we will convince the nation's leaders that the danger is past and invite their cooperation in ensuring that the fragments are never again disturbed. Come, let us depart and seek an audience with them forthwith. A moment, sister. You need not bury yourself with this task. Yurianje and I will more than suffice. Might you not take this opportunity to rest? The gods know you have earned it. Ooh, actually, go take a nap or something. I'm fine, brother. Besides, you've been through as much as I have. Oh, I see now. You would play your game of diplomacy and wish me out of the way. Aw. No, no, I not could be further from the truth, Allie. Is she kidding? Or is she actually grumpy? <laughs> My lady, tis mine earnest belief that your brother hath your best interests at heart. You have more than done your part, and he desireth but to relieve you of a burden he might easily bear alone. I have some experiences treating with dignitaries, you must allow. And as you never fail to remind me of my fondness for diplomacy, I feel it only right that I remind you of your aversion to it. Nice. Yeah, tell her. Then it is settled. Irianger, pray make arrangements for a chocobo carriage. The ride should give us ample time to prepare our story. And talk to me now. Alpha no. Why are we yelling? Though our paths are different, we share the same goal, do we not? I would assume so. But of course, dear sister, that which we have just achieved together stands as testament to that fact. Whatever path we choose to take, our hearts shall ever lead us to the same end of that. I'm certain. Thank you.
There's a place that I would visit. Might I ask you to accompany me? Ooh. We're going on a adventure. Another adventure with Alice. But first, I do believe a change of garments is in order. It won't take a moment. Just has like a person back there that she's like is carrying a new fit for. <laughs> Where are we? Whoa, are the crystals doll now? <sighs> Look at that. Look what she what is she wearing? Hi friend. Wait, are the is this what the crystals look like on your guys' screens? Like, are they not shiny anymore? Landscape is the same. Of course, there's no reason that it would be otherwise. But they're not shiny. Though it would be poetic for the fragments to magically disappear. I'm well aware that they shall remain long after you and I are gone. Hello? She's like horrified. <laughs> It's just children. <laughs> what is that? Just going on their daily walk to the rock. The world may change irrevocably, but life shall ever go on. Let us take a closer look, shall we? At this rock? Where's her book? She keep in that little purse? I have no doubt that Alpha No will do an admirable job concealing the truth of the calamity. And such truths as were revealed in those dark depths will never see the light of day. I myself agree that it must be so, but... But... But the thought that the people of Eorzea shall forever remain ignorant of their savior, of your deeds... Listen, I'm fine. I have a pretty nice rap sheet right now, okay? I don't need to add another thing to it. I'm fine. The injustice of it is almost too much for me to bear. Fine. I'm fine. I have plenty of things that people think I'm great at. How typical of you, Killzor. Ever the hero. Even so, I cannot deny that I feel better for your reassurance. But I want you to know that I will never forget. You were the one who freed Grandfather's soul and saved Eorzea from Bahamut's wrath. I mean, I couldn't done it without you. And though those great deeds will never be remembered in song, their consequences will be felt forevermore by every soul who calls this realm home. Well, thanks, Allie. I appreciate it. Is she going to, like, disappear now for a period of time until we see her later in, like, the MSQ? Oh, they are kind of shiny, actually. Never mind, I'm just an idiot. Oh, some of them aren't, though. What is going on? Is it because it's in the middle of the day? Yes, this spot will do. Just for, what, is she going to, like, kick me off? This cliff that we're standing on? Uh... Oh. For Grandfather, Nail, and the Dragons of Mrak... Miracida, Miracida, for all those who were taken by the Calamity. How oh, sweet. What a sweet gesture. Especially since we're not going to talk about them. Especially all those dragons that were caged down there. At long last, our struggle with Bahamut is over. The realm, given new life through the prayers and sacrifices of countless souls, may look to a brighter tomorrow. When the dust of our adventure has settled, I shall embark on a journey. I mean to find my own reason to fight for Yorzia, and when I do, I will fight with all my being. You take like a like a vision quest, and then come find us later when she knows who she is. 
You've done so much for me, Kilzor. One day, I hope to be able to repay you in kind. You didn't really owe me anything, I mean... I have no doubt, but that you will continue to help those in need and grow ever stronger in so doing. I shall endeavor to do the same, and if the twelve are kind, I hope one day to become Eorzea's sword in the darkness, as you are. <laughs> sword in the darkness. Come what may, you may rest assured that I will not be undone by Alphano. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when next we meet, I promise that I will not disappoint you. Hello, day. Very well, my friend, and thank you from the bottom of my heart. You're welcome, Allie. Good luck on your vision quest. And when we see you next... <sighs> I actually kind of like Allie. Like, this quest was really nice, especially since, like, we did it over, like, a series of weeks. Like, getting, like I feel like I like we've really spent, like, a lot of time with her and, like, getting to know her and, like, delving deep in the coils and... Uh, you know, her relationship with Alpha No and like that developing and then like her developing and then her being like, all right, you know, like, I'm gonna go on a little vision quest with you guys later. You know, so when we see her again, it's gonna be like, <sighs> I'm sure she's gonna come back and she's gonna be like huge, like ripped, you know, like buff. Like, oh my god. And she's like, yeah, I've been just lifting rocks for the last like eight years. You're like, what? She's just huge now. 